Alright guys, this is a different video than what I normally do. You know, I always start out with hugs and kisses to all my toodles. Well, this is a different video. I just got to be watching a video from one of the one of my people that I subscribe to on YouTube. And she gave me an idea. So, um, go through my makeup and get rid of some. Some more ideas. So, I'm going to do a little at a time. I'm going to go through my foundations, my liquids and powders and get rid of some of them i'm going to swatch them and let you see the colors on my arms and and i'll tell you how i like it and how i don't like it or something um the ones that i've been using one of my most the one that i've been using lately that i bought from dollar tree and i think i'm like almost out of it and that's the la color and I've been using it, as you can tell, it's, I'm just, I don't care, but you can tell I've been using it because it's almost down to the wires. And it's a what, real creamy and pretty, so, and it's on my face now, if it had came off, but I'm sure it has, but. There it is on my hand right there, and it's real pretty. So, this one I definitely want to keep and repurchase. So, that's one I'm keeping. I'm going to have Keep Pile over here on my right and on my left um, Giveaway Pile. So, that I use. So, I'm going to actually keep it. This is another one I like, and it's by Wet n Wild. If I'm not, this is really a bronzer, but I don't use it as a bronzer. I do use it as a face powder because I like the color of it, and I'd like to purchase more of that one. Another one I've been using a lot, I got in a, excuse me, a swamp with a girl on Facebook. And I actually like this, this creamy. It is a CC cream, and it is an age-defying cream, so I do like it. Let me get you a swatch here. And you've probably seen me in some of my videos where I've had this on, and it does, it is something I like. But, and I would not repurchase it, but I do like it. And there's the color. It's kind of gritty. But when you put it in and rub it better, it's real good. And then I usually put a powder over it. And I do have an Avon powder that's sitting on my dresser that I did not bring in here, but I do use. My favorite foundation is this one, and it's the DreamWork Nude Foam. And y'all have seen me purchase, or purchase, yeah, you see me purchase. Y'all have seen me use this a lot. And I didn't mean to get that much out. But. Hello? Huh? Huh? I'm sorry about that. My phone rang and it was for somebody in the house. But that's what that looks like. Kind of. But I do like it. So I'm actually going to keep that one because I do use it. <sighs> okay. Another one I have. I don't have a... S I have a little sponge with me to try it, but it is the Maybelline Mineral Powder, and I'll show you the color. There's, well, you can't really see it, but it's kind of dark, and I'll show it to you on here. It's kind of a dark color, 
as you can tell, I may need to not be so bright, but as you can see it right in here. And I really, this would be pretty to use as a powder for a blush, and this is one of my get rid of because I really think it's too dark, and it'd be too dark on me, even if I was to use it as a blush. I don't know, I might could work work with it, but no. Okay, another one I like, and I got in a swamp, was this Revlon Photo Spotlight, and I really like this one too. This one I'm almost out of, and I do want to repurchase it, um, this one is an Age Rewind by Maybelline, and I really like this one, because, for one, look, I have not used this yet, I don't think I have, but there's the color, it's real pretty, and if I put a different color, well, it doesn't show up that much on my hand, but I like the color, and it comes with a little powder puff and a mirror, so I really think that's really neat, and it's good for traveling. So I'm going to keep that one, and I wear this one a lot. That is a Wet n' Wild coverall, as a lot of y'all seen. <laughs> In some of my videos, I do wear this one a lot. It's not it's dark, but it's a pretty color. It's medium shade, so that's perfect. This one I just recently got in a swamp. So I'm going to actually give this one, and it's by NYC. I'm going to actually give it a try. Let's see here. Let me open it. And I will, oh my god, this is soft. This is a face powder. But, and as you look right here, well, if you can tell, I don't know if you can actually see it, but right in here, let's see if I can hold, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but right in here, as you can see it, if you can see it right here, to me, it won't work as a face powder. But to me, it will work as maybe a blush, but not a face powder. Okay. So I'll go ahead and keep that and probably use it as a blush. Another one of my favorites that I've been using, I really don't care too much actually now, is the Magic Nude Liquid Powder. And it does, um, it turns into, it's liquid, but once you use it, it turns into powder. So let me get some on my hand. And I oh. Okay, this one. Okay, something. I might have to throw that one in the trash trash. But right there is what it looks like. And then it like finishes, dries on your face. It's like powdery. But this one kind of is like liquid liquidy. So I guess I'd have to shake it up before I use it again. This one, I'm actually going to put in my giveaway pile. So now I have two in my giveaway pile. Another one I have is the DreamWorks by Maybelline. And this one is not bad. It's a pretty shade. And it's like right there on my forearm right there. If you can see it, I'm sorry. But it's there. And it also, the same, comes with a brush and a mirror, which is really awesome. Okay, then I have this one. This one I got from Avon when I was selling Avon. And it's not really that bad, but it's a liquid. And I have used it once, and I really don't care too much for it. But it's not really, really dark. And, or nothing on it, but it's an okay one. But, um, let's see. 
I can't I can't see what color it is or what shade, but that's gonna go on my giveaway pile. And I have this one which is fit me. And I absolutely like this one too. Um if I'm not mistaken. I thought Oh. And I have used this one because it comes with a little brush that and I have absolutely used this one on my face and I will put it on well you can see on the sponge my hands all based up. But I really do like that one a lot, so I'm going to absolutely keep this one. And this might be the next one I start using for this coming week. Another one I have, which is a medium. This is a L'Oreal Hydro Preference. And it's a it has the little thing. I really haven't used this yet. I haven't even opened it. But I'm going to go ahead and open it because I want to get it checked out. And see if it's something I do want to use or not. I'm running low on, on foundations, but that's okay. Put a little bit in my hand and rub it on the palm of my hand. And if you look on the palm of my hand, if you can a little bit, you can see where the color is right in here. Oh, that tickles. And I absolutely like it. So that's cool. So this one I will definitely keep because I really do like that color. Okay. And then I have my two favorites. Um, I'm not going to open it up, this one, but it's sheer cover, and this one is opened. And this one's almost gone, but um, there's some in here. I can swatch around, and that's it on my finger. And I'll start swatching on this hand. But it's right there, as you can see, and it is gorgeous. So I'll be keeping that one. This one's another one. And this one's absolutely gone, just about. And it's with, on my Avon 1-2. So, and there's the color right there. But what I'm thinking of doing, if I can get the plastic out, I might could use the container for something something else but I really did like this one too and I used it a lot so this one right now is going into the trash pile because it is totally empty this one is elf and it is a foundation and I'm going to show you how big it is since you put it all over your face if you have one of these take a sniff because to me it smells like fruity pebbles. This is one I do not like either. Not because of the smell. It's just not good for me. This one I've tried. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked. And I have used this one some. I'm going to use this finger. I'm going to swatch it on my other hand. This one is really really when you wear it out in the heat it melts on your face to me that one melts on my face when I use it in the sun so I really don't care too much for it if it's going to I don't really care too much for liquid basis if it's going to melt on my face so that one will be gone bye bye then I have the Rommel Stay Mate, which I've never tried before. 
I might have, but I'm not totally for sure. Uh, let's see. It's liquidy. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of dark, huh? For me, so rub it in. Really, really good. And it's still kind of... And this one is the CoverGirl Gorgeous. I couldn't wait to try this one. I have not tried it yet. Let's put it on my finger a little bit. And let's see, I'll put it right here. And that's what it is like that. It's kind of dark on me. It hurt my head. So, that's that. And my last one. powdery and I'm going to okay and there it is there just rub it in and it'll be perfect and I like that so I have my three four four my five that I'm going to put into the giveaway. And I threw one away that was empty. And that is for that. I have more makeup I need to get rid of, but I'm doing it a little at a time. And since I have done this one, and that is it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have tried any of the products that I'm keeping, Maybe you liked it, or maybe you should go through your makeup and get rid of some, too, like me. <laughs> That's a good idea. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. You can like this video, or you can thumbs it down. I'm not really care, but if you have any comments or questions, down below.